So for the state exam, one portion of the process will be, or one of the things that they'll ask you to do potentially is uh, how would you mitigate the situation? And for vapor suppression, what is what does that mean, vapor suppression? Ventilation. No, not vent, that's vapor dispersion. Vapor suppression. Like putting foam over. Foam, okay. So foam is a level two skill. You guys are on level one, but they may ask you to set it up, right? And if you can set it up, then you might as well be able to put it on. But that's just how the state works. So they're at, their question is gonna be, uh, what tools will you need and how could you set it up for foam? We went over this once already, but just to refresh you, what do we all need? Foam concentrate, right? It comes like this, five gallon buckets, 3%, 6%, AFFF, meaning uh, aqueous film forming foam. That's right here. Then you're gonna pull out, obviously you need hose, correct? You need a way to get water, you need a continuous water supply, and you obviously need an engine to give you the water pressure at what piece of equipment? Starts with an E. What piece of equipment do we need 200 PSI at in order to get foam? E what? Not an ejector, the eductor. Do you remember seeing this? Yeah. All right, this is the adductor. So you set up the hose, goes through here. This, right, the siphon goes right into the bunghole of the, uh, uh, the concentrate, AFFF. All right. What do you think the zero, half, one, two, three, six? Uh, what you're adding? What percentage, right? So 3% foam means 97% water. At 200 PSI at this point, you get that Venturi effect, right? That's the physics of firefighting, sucks it up, and now it continues on its way. So now you've got a foam concentrate plus water at whatever percentage, 97.3 or 94.6 or whatever we choose, okay? Then we finally get to our, the end of the nozzle, right? Or the end of the hole, which we have our nozzle. This is the, what is this called? Air aspirating nozzle, all right? This is what? A fog nozzle. So you use a fog nozzle, you'll put this on just like so, and close it up. Now you're ready, locked and loaded. So how does this work? Same preference or you know, same idea. You got the water coming through here at a very high rate of speed. It creates a suction effect. And all of a sudden you're introducing a ton of air into that stream, all right? And then it mixes that air, kind of like you're making bubbles in, in your sink, kitchen sink, you're adding water, you're adding agitation. It all does that, locked and loaded. And then psh, she comes out. The foam that. goes from the adductor okay, okay. through the hose line into okay. here, sucks in more air. You can get a foam blanket without the air aspirating nozzle. It just doesn't work as good. So we have to set all this up? You may have to. I have never in my six years seen them actually ask this, but it's something that we need to go over just to make sure you guys are squared away. Again, a total team thing. So between the three of you, I feel confident that you'll be able to <coughs> excuse me, get through this, um, but all you have to do is set it up. So, you, hey, I need a hose, I need this, air aspirating nozzle, I need a fog nozzle, I need foam concentrate, I need the adductor, and that's really about it. The last question they could possibly ask with regards to foam is how you apply it, right? There's three sporting ways of, of applying it. Banking. Banking it on, rain. making it rain, and roll it on right roll or sweep it on so roll it on bank it, it on. make it rain. it rain fair enough yep. and what that foam does again it cools and it suppresses the uh the vapors from coming up and it creates a blanket to suffocate it from the top okay so the injector you put that into the hose the eductor, the eductor yeah. yes so the eductor You have one section of holes. Right? It goes here. And then the other section goes there. And 
this goes right in the bung hole. So that the, the end section goes into the fog nozzle. Correct. So from here, and there's our arrow right on there. So that shows you the flow of water that you need and you know how, how it goes. And because it's a hose, there's only one way to connect it. So yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Any other questions? No? Excellent. All right. Uh, just put that hose back where it was, and then we'll meet you back out there for more instruction on the other techniques.